Hello everyone, this is Anindya from Goodwill and today we are going to discuss what exactly is a stock. So let us move on to the discussion of what exactly is a stock. A stock is nothing but a financial instrument or a security that represents part ownership in the company. For example, if in a company called XYZ Limited, which has 1000 stocks, you own 10 of them, you are basically considered 1% owner of that particular company. So. Once you buy the stock of a publicly traded company, you will be considered a shareholder or a part owner of said company. Being a shareholder brings you certain rights called shareholder rights. The first right you are entitled to is part ownership of the company. This basically gives you rights over the assets of a profitable company of which you hold the shares. Next you have something called voting rights which gives you the ability to vote on major issues of the company. Next we have trading rights which gives you the right to buy and sell listed shares of that company in the stock exchanges at the prevailing market price. Next. Shareholders are entitled to dividends which are paid out from the profits which a company makes from its businesses. Next, shareholders can appoint directors to the company in order to protect their shareholder rights. Last but not the least, shareholders have right to information which gives them the right to demand access to account books of the company, ledgers of the company as well as minutes of the board meetings in which major decisions are made. Now let us look at some important tidbits that you must remember as a shareholder. First off, the symbol and ISR number. Every company will have a script code which is closely related to the company's name and is usually an abbreviated form of the company's name. The company will also have a unique ISIN number also known as an International Securities Identification Number which comprises of 12 alphanumeric characters. Indian securities usually start with the alphabets I and N followed by 10 other characters. Next we have the price of a stock which may be checked in the official website of the exchanges or on your trading terminals provided by Goodwill as well as other brokers. An important point to remember is that the smallest price movement in a script is also known as the tick of that particular script which is usually 0.05 or 5 paise. Lastly, not all stocks are listed at all stock exchanges. For example, a script may be listed in NSE but you may not find it in BSE and vice versa. So in order to trade in a particular script, please make sure to check the stock exchanges in which they are listed in. With this, we have come to an end of our video. Please do like, subscribe and share in case you find this video useful and informative. To contact support, you may email us at customer support at the rate gwcindia.in or WhatsApp us at 733-889-5491 or call us at 044-403-2999. Thanks a lot for watching the video.